I'm on hold for 45 minutes listening to the Muzak version of Muskrat Love, and they can find no air. <laughs> now that the kids are gone, I ask you one more time. Did you make that call to Vancouver? Al, that call was made at 9 in the morning. Now, you know very well that that is when I go back to sleep after you've gone to work. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe they're going to make me pay for this, Peg. <sighs> Why don't you become a game show host? Contestant comes on, says I want $10,000. You shrug, I come out and pay him. The game's over. <laughs> we'll call the show That Idiot Al. <laughs> out one way or another. Now, just go to sleep. Oh, I'm sure it'll work out. I'll pay for a light I didn't want, pay for a phone call I didn't make, pay for a house, a dog, kids, cat. Well, <laughs> you know, there's still some things we could do for free. You know, like dust off Mr. Van Winkle and bring him over for a visit. <laughs> Sex, Al. Great, the one thing I would pay for. Me too. Good night, Al. <laughs> Honey, would you be still? I am trying desperately to pretend you're someone else. <laughs> coming from? That's the new crime light, Al. Shining on an appropriate place. Your feet. Ah, oh, this just gets better and better. Fifty dollars to have a light shine in my face! <laughs> this is great. I'm a victim. That's what I am. City charges me fifty dollars to shine a light in my face. Nothing I can do about it. Phone company charges me eighty dollars for a phone call I never made. Nothing I can do about it. Well, from now on, Al Bundy is going to do something about it. Tomorrow, I'm going to get that Vancouver phone call taken off my bill, and I'm going to go down and have the city move that stupid light. From now on, Al Bundy is going to live with a little bit of dignity. <laughs> <laughs>